So today we are going to start chapter 2 fraction in decimals class 7. So you have already studied about fraction in previous classes. So let us just recapitulate okay, what are fractions. So fractions are number represent, representing parts of a whole. These are the parts of a whole. One whole is there and suppose it contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 parts are there. So out of 6, 5 parts are there. So 5 by 6. This is one of the fraction. This is another fraction which represents 3 by 7. Now, we will study types of fractions. That also you know very well. You are studying class 6 also, class 5 also. What are fractions types? First one is proper fraction. So what is proper fraction? Fraction having fractions having numerator less than denominator. Less than denominator. So let us take one example. So I am taking 3 by 5. So this is proper fraction. Why this is proper fraction? Because numerator is less than denominator. If numerator is less than denominator, then such a fraction is called proper fraction. One more example. 7 by 12. One more example. Here numerator is less than denominator. Then such type of fraction is called proper fraction. Now what about improper fraction? This is just the reverse of proper fraction. Here, fractions having numerator greater than greater than denominator. Fractions having numerator greater than denominator then such a type of fractions are called improper fraction. Let us take one more example. Here, 5 by 3. This is one of the fraction. This is improper fraction because numerator is more than denominator. So improper fraction. One more example. 12 by 7. This is one more example. This is just the reciprocal of this word, 3 by 5 is so 5 by 3, 7 by 12 is 12 by 7, or one more example we can take, 19 by 11. This is one more improper fraction having numerator greater than denominator. Improper fraction. Now, what about mixed fraction? What are mixed fraction? This is the combination of whole number and proper fraction. Mixed fraction is a combination. It is a combination of. It is a combination of. Whole number. And a proper fraction. Let us take an example. Example. 3, 5 by 7. This is one of the mixed fraction here this is whole number and this one is proper fraction so such a fraction is called mixed fraction so we are studying today three types of fraction proper numerator less than denominator improper numerator more than denominator and mixed fraction, combination of two whole number and proper fraction. One more example, 7, 2 by 11. This is whole number and this is proper fraction. Clear? Now let us solve exercise 2.1. Uh, let's start with question number 1. This is just the addition and subtraction of fractions that you are already familiar with. So let's start with question number one. First part. 
फर्स्ट इज टू माइनस थ्री बाई फाइव दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन वन पास पार्ट टू माइनस थ्री बाई फाइव सो दिस इज होल नंबर दिस इज फ्रैक्शन सो वॉट टू डू वी हैव टू मेक टू एस ए इम्प्रोफेक्शन हाउ टू मेक इम्प्रोफेक्शन कीप द डिनोमिनेटर वन Now denominator is one, two by one and three by five. Here denominators are not same. We can't add or subtract fractions until the denominators are same. If denominators are same, then only we can add or subtract fractions. So always take LCM. Denominators are not same. So here denominators are not same. One and five. So we have to take LCM. So LCM is uh, five. One five LCM is five. So LCM is five. Least common multiple five. Now two by one into five multiplied by five to make the denominator same. We have to multiply. We have multiplied by five. Equals to two five is a ten. Ten minus three by five. Ten minus three seven seven by five. So this is our first answer. Two minus three by five equals to seven by. Now let us do second part of the question. Second part is four plus seven by eight. Again, four is improper uh, whole number, so we have to make it improper fraction. Put one as denominator. Now again, denominators are not same. We will take LCM first. But well, we can't add, subtract directly. Four plus seven or one plus eight. No, never. What we will do first of all make denominator same. So denominator is. One and eight, so LCM is eight. Now multiply by eight. One eight is a and seven by eight. Eight is already there. So eight one ja one eight. Four is a thirty-two plus seven by eight. That equals to thirty-nine by eight. So in this way we can find out. How to add and subtract? Now let us do question number three. So how to do question number three? See, so then I am rubbing question number one. Now see question number three. Solution of question number three. Three by five plus two by seven. Here again denominators are not same. Whenever denominators are not same, we have to make them same first. We can't add directly. We can't add three and two and five and seven. No, never. So take LCM, make denominator same. LCM of denominators five and seven. What is the LCM of five and seven? Thirty-five. Because both are co-prime, so LCM is the multiplication of the two numbers. Now, after taking LCM, we have to make the denominator same. Five sevens are thirty-five and. Seven fives are thirty-five. We have to multiply in both. We have to make the equivalent fraction. So what is equivalent fraction? Which is multiple of the fraction, or we can divide it. It is not the simplified form. Not in simplified form. Now here. Three sevens are twenty-one and five twos are ten and denominator is same. It is thirty-five. So twenty-one plus ten, thirty-one. Thirty-one by thirty-five is our third solution. Thirty-one by thirty-five. Now let us do question number four. Question number four. Nine by eleven minus four by fifteen. Here again, denominators are not same. Eleven fifteen. Let's take LCM. LCM of eleven and fifteen. One hundred and sixty-five. Because both are co-prime, so we can directly multiply. If they are factors, then we have to take the LCM. But here we can take it directly LCM because both are co-prime. There is nothing common between eleven fifteen, so LCM is directly the multiplication of the two denominators. Now after taking LCM, we have to make the note the same. So eleven, what we have to multiply eleven? We get the LCM one sixty five. So definitely fifteen only. 
So in whenever we are taking LCM, making denominators, numerator, denominator same. When we are multiplying in denominator, we have to multiply in numerator also. 15 into 11 here also. So what will get? 15 nines are 135 and 11 fours are 44 and denominator is same. It is 165. And when we subtract 91 by 165. So this is our solution number 4 in all. Now let us do solution number 5. Rubbing question number 3. Now let us do solution number 5. 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2. Here there are 3 fractions. 3 fractions in denominator is not same. Make the denominator same by taking LCM. LCM of 10, 5 and 2. So what is LCM? All are 5 to the 10, 2, 5 to the 10. So LCM is clearly visible that LCM is 10 only. Now making denominator same. So let's make denominator same. Seven by ten. Ten is already ten, so no need to multiply. Two by five, five two za, and multiply by two here also. We are making the number the same. What will multiply in two will get ten five za. So seven plus four plus fifteen by ten. Now let's add. 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 15, 26 by 10. Now it's possible to simplify because both are coming in multiple uh, table of 2. So let's cut 2 ones are, 2 threes are, 2 fives are. 13 by 5 is our answer. So this is question number 5th solution. Now let us do question number 6th. So what is 6 here? What is question number 6? Question number 6 is 2, 2 by 3 plus 3, 1 by 2. This is our question number 6. Here both are mixed fractions. Both are mixed fractions. So we have to convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. Always mixed fraction convert to improper. So how to convert? Multiply 3, 2 is 6, 6 plus 2. 2 into 3 plus 2 by 3. Here also convert 3 into 2 plus 1 by 2. That you know very well. You have studied earlier also how to convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. 3 to 6, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 by 3 plus 3 to 6, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 by 2. So... These are two improper fractions. Again, we can't take directly. We have to make the denominator same by taking LCM. Here are the denominators are 3 and 2. So LCM is both are co-primes. So LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So let us make denominator same. 8 by 3, 3 2 is 6. 7 by 2, 2 3 is 6. 8 to 16, 7 3s are 21 by 6. Now let's add 37 by 6. Now we can again convert into mixed fraction because our question is in mixed fraction. And if it if it comes improper fraction, then we have to convert. So let's convert 6, 1 by 6. 6, 6 are 36, 36 plus 1, 37, 37 by 6. This is solution number 6. Now, let us do solution number 7. Now, this is the last question of question number 1. 7th one. 8, 1 by 2 minus 3, 5 by 8. So, let us do this one. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अगेन कन्वर्ट मिक्स फ्रैक्शन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन एट प्लस सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सेवनटीन बाई टू माइनस एट या ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी नाइन बाय एट नाउ एलसीएम अगेन सो व्हाट इज एलसीएम एलसीएम ऑफ टू एन एट एलसीएम टू एन एट इज एट बिकॉज टू फोर जा इज एट सो एट इज द एलसीएम नाउ मेक द डिनोमिनेटर सेम सेवेंटीन बाय टू टू फोर जा फोर जा Minus 29 by 8. So 17 for the 68 minus 29 by 8. Subtract 39 by 8. Now again convert into mixed fraction. 4 17. By 8. So this is question number seven solution. So very easily we can do addition and subtraction of fractions. Now we have to do question number two. Arrange the following descending order. So let us start with question number one first. Solution first. Two by nine, two by three, eight by twenty-one. Here denominators are not same. First of all, always we have to make the denominator same. Then only we can proceed. So we have to take LCM. LCM of nine, three, and twenty-one. So let's take LCM. You know how to take LCM, children? Still, I am telling you how to take three to divisible by three. All three to nine, three ones are three sevens are. Then three ones are one and seven, and lastly seven ones. Are. So what is LCM? Three into three into seven. Three three nine nine seven is sixty three. This is the LCM. Now we have to make the denominator same. So let's make first one two by nine. What will multiply nine so that we get sixty three? Nine seven is so multiply in numerator also fourteen by sixty three. Second one two by three three twenty one is twenty one three sixty three. Twenty-one two is a forty-two, forty-two by sixty-three, and third one is eight by twenty-one. Twenty-one three is a. We have to make always sixty-three because LCM is sixty-three. We have to make denominators as equivalent fraction. So multiply by three. So here also multiply by three. Eight here twenty-four, twenty-four by sixty-three. Now. Denominators are same. Now we can easily compare. Denominators are same. We can compare which is greater and which is small. So, 14 by 63. We got 14 by 63. Then 42 by 63, and 24 by 63. This is our question converts into equivalent fraction with denominator 63. Now we have to arrange in descending order. Arranging in descending order. Descending order means we have to arrange from greater to smaller. So which one is greater? Forty-two by sixty-three. Forty-two by sixty-three is greater than which one? Second, twenty-four by sixty-three, which is again greater than fourteen by sixty-three. Now we have to write the original number, original fraction. We have to write because this is not the original one. We have to Arrange this as a descending order. So let's write the original one. So 42 by 63 here, yeah? 2 by 3. 24 by 63 is 8 by 21. And 14 by 63 is 2 by 9. So this is our solution of first one. Now let us do the second one. Second one, one by five, three by seven, and seven by ten. Again, denominators are not same. We have to make the denominator same. So again, take LCM, LCM of five, seven, and ten. So let us take 
calcium. This is by 2 first. 2 5 is 10. Then 5. And then lastly is 7. So LCM is 2 into 5 into 7. 70 is the LCM. Now, what we have to do? We have to make a equivalent fraction. 1 by 5. What to multiply in 5 will get 70? 14 5 is 70. You must, we must know all tables. Multiplication table. Then we can find out easily that which number we have to multiply in 5 will get 70. 14 5 is 70. 14 by 70. Second one, 3 by 7, 7 tens are 70. So 30 by 70 and third, 7 by 10, 10 7 za. So 49 by 70. Now what you have to do? What numbers you got? 14 by 70, 30 by 70 and 49 by 70. Now we have to arrange in descending order. Arranging in descending order. So let's arrange in descending order. We have to write from the largest one. Largest one is 49 by 70. Descending greater to smaller 49 to by 70. Then 30 by 70. And then 14 by 70. Now we have to write the original fraction. So, 49 by 70, 7 by 10 is the greatest one, 30 by 70, 3 by 7, second greatest, and third, 14 by 70 is 1 by 5. So, this is our solution number 2. So, we can easily arrange in descending order. Now, let us find out whether this is a magic square or not. Question number 3. So what is magic square? A magic square is a square where all rows, there are 3 rows in it. 1, 2, 3 and 3 columns. 1, 2, 3 and 2 diagonals. What is diagonal? First one and this is second diagonal. The sum along all rows, the sum along all columns and sum along 2 diagonals will remain same. Then we if all sum remains same, then we can say that it is a magic square. Otherwise, not. So let us check whether it is a magic square or not. So let us find out the sum of row 1. This is row 1. So let us name it all rows. Row 1, R1. Row 2, R2. And row 3, R3. And this is column 1. C1, column 1. C2, column 2. And C3, column 3. And this is diagonal, so this is D1 diagonal 1, and this is diagonal 2. So let us find the sum of all these rows and columns. So first row 1, let us start row 1. Row 1, 4 by 11 plus 9 by 11 plus 2 by 11. Here denominator is RCM, so no need to take any LCM, directly we can add. 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, 15 by 11, row 1. Now, row 2, row 2, 3 by 11, plus 5 by 11, plus 7 by 11. Now, again, let's add 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 7, 15 by 11. Again, we are getting 15 by 11. Now, let's check for row 3, R3. Row 3, 8 by 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 6 by 11 now let's add 8 plus 9 1 9 9 plus 6 15 15 by 11 now let's add for columns all columns so c1 first column 1 4 by 11 plus 3 by 11 plus 8 by 11 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 4 15 by 11 again 15 by 11 now column number 2 column number 2 is 9 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 1 by 11 now let's do some 9 plus 5 14 14 plus 1 15 by 11 again 15 by 11 now let's check column number 3 column number 3 is 2 by 11 plus 7 by 11 plus 6 by 11 now let's add 7 plus 6 13 plus 2 15 15 by 11 again 
Now let's check the diagonal one. This is diagonal one, children. This is diagonal one. This one is diagonal one. So let's add all the members of diagonal one. Four by eleven plus five by eleven plus six by eleven. So again fifteen by eleven. Now what left? D two diagonal number two. Two by eleven plus five by eleven. Plus eight by eleven, eight plus five thirteen plus two fifteen by eleven. Now see all rows sum is fifteen by eleven, all columns sum is fifteen by eleven, all diagonals row sum is fifteen by eleven. So here all rows, all columns sum is fifteen by eleven. Therefore, therefore it is a magic square since all rows columns. And diagonal sum, and diagonal sum is same. That is 15 by 11. Therefore, it is a magic square. It's a magic square. Understood? Now let us proceed to another question number four. What is question saying? A rectangular sheet of paper. This is a rectangular sheet of paper. This is a rectangular sheet of paper. Of length twelve and a half centimeter long. Length is given to us twelve and half. Twelve one by two centimeter long. And breadth is also given to us ten two by three breadth. Ten two by three centimeter long. We need to find its perimeter, and we know perimeter. Perimeter means sum of its all sides, and we know the formula of finding the perimeter of rectangles. So, what is given? Length, twelve and half centimeter. Convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. Twelve to the twenty-four plus one, twenty-five by two centimeter. Breadth, ten two by three. 10 to the 30 plus 2, 32 by 3 centimeter. Now let's find perimeter. Since we know perimeter formula, perimeter of rectangular sheet of paper equals to 2 multiply with length plus breadth. Length. What is the length given? Twenty-five by two. Breadth thirty-two by three. Now we can't add directly because denominators are not same here. Again, we have to take LCM. So LCM of two and three six. So let's find out the LCM. Two is going on there. Twenty-five by two. Two three is a so multiply by three. Three two is a so multiply by two. So what will get two into twenty five three is a seventy five plus thirty two is a sixty four by LCM is six. That implies seventy five sixty four one thirty nine by six. Cut. We can cut it here two three six. So what we are getting one thirty nine by three. Now convert into mixed fraction. Forty-six one by three centimeter is the perimeter of rectangular sheet. Now let us do question number five. In this question, we have to find the perimeter of triangle ABE. Secondly, rectangle BCDE. And we have to also compare whose perimeter is greater, triangle or rectangle. So let us start with finding perimeter of triangle ABE. Perimeter of triangle ABE. We know perimeter of triangle is sum of its all sides. So sum of all sides. So there are three sides, AB. Plus B plus A. So let us find the sum of all three AB. 
फाइव बाय टू बी टू थ्री बाय फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड ए थ्री थ्री बाय फाइव सेंटीमीटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल कन्वर्ट इन प्रॉपर मिक्स फ्रैक्शन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन फोर टू दाइट एट प्लस थ्री इलेवन बाय फोर फाइव थे फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन प्लस थ्री एटीन बाय फाइव डिनोमिनेटर्स आर नॉट सेम अगेन वी विल टेक एलसीएम विदाउट एलसीएम वी कांट एड सब्ट्रैक्ट सो एलसीएम ऑफ टू फोर एंड फाइव is 20 you can find out lcm lcm is 20 now making it equal in fraction 2 tens are 20 4 fives are 20 and 5 fours are 20 now let's add 50 55 72 by 20 so on adding what you get 177 by 20. Now let's convert into mixed fraction because all are in mixed fraction. So let's convert 817 by 20 centimeter. This is the perimeter of triangle. Now let's find the perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle. What is perimeter of rectangle? 2 into l plus b. What is length given to us? This is the length. This is the breadth. 2, 3 by 4 plus 7 by 6. First, convert improper to mix to improper. 4 to the 8, 8 plus 3, 11. 11 by 4 to the 8, 8 plus 7 by 6. Here denominators are again not same. We take LCM. So LCM is what is LCM of four and six? LCM of four and six is twelve. So making it same, four to the twelve, six to the twelve. Now after taking LCM. Let's add them. Thirty-three plus fourteen by twelve means forty-seven by twelve. Now cut two to the twelve. Now convert forty-seven by six into mixed fraction. Seven five by six. And we know eight here eight seventeen by twenty here seven five by six. So which one is greater? Since eight seventeen by twenty is greater than seven five by six, therefore perimeter of triangle is greater. Greater than rectangle. Clear, children? Now question number six. Sally wants to put picture in a frame. Now let's make one frame. This is a frame. This is a frame I have made. Sally wants to put picture in a frame, and she wants to put picture. Let's make one new one picture. She wants to make put picture in the frame. To fit in the frame, the picture cannot be more than seven three by ten centimeter. And width of frame is given to us. Width of the frame is given to us seven three by five centimeter. To fit in the frame, the picture cannot be more than seven three by ten centimeter. So, how much should the picture be trimmed? We have to trim the picture. Then only it will come into the frame. Otherwise, it will not come because the picture the uh, is uh, longer than its width is more than the width of the frame. So, we have to trim it. 
we have to cut it so that it will easily come. So how much we have to cut, we have to find out. So let's find out solution. Width of the picture given to us. 7, 3 by 5 centimeters and width of frame is 7, 3 by 10 centimeters. So we have to subtract to find out how much we have to trim. <coughs> the length of length of picture should be trimmed equals to seven three by five minus seven three by ten centimeter. You will subtract and find out. First converting again the mixed fraction to improper fraction thirty eight by five seventy three by ten. Denominators are again not same, we will take LCM. Stand. So multiplying to the 76 minus 73 by 10. That means 3 by 10 centimeter. So this much length of picture have we have to trip. Question number 7, 3 to 8, 3 fifth part of an apple and the remaining apple was eaten by her brother Somu. How much part of the apple did Somu eat? Who had larger share and by how much? So let's find out solution of this question. Part of an apple Ritu has eaten. How much she has eaten? Three fifth part. One apple is there, and in one apple, Ritu has eaten three fifth part. Means out of five parts, Ritu has eaten three parts. So, how much Somu has eaten? Very easily you can find out. Part of an apple eaten by her brother, eaten by her brother, equals to. 1 minus 3 by 5 because the apple is 1. 1 apple. It has 5 parts. And 3 parts has been eaten by Ritu. So how much part left? Easily you can say 2 parts. But you have to show it. So 1 minus 3 by 5. 1 can be written as 1 by 1 minus 3 by 5. LCM is 5 multiplied by 5. 5 minus 3 by 5. That means Two parts has been eaten by her brother Somu. Two fifth. Now, who ate larger share? Since three by five is greater than two by five, therefore Ritu had Ritu had larger share. And by how much? Also, we need to find out how much she has eaten larger. And by what fraction? So three by five minus two by five. One fifth part, one fifth part, she has eaten more than so. Now let us proceed to question number eight. Michael finished coloring picture in seven by twelve hours. One picture is there, and Michael finished that picture in seven by twelve hours. Fraction is seven by twelve. While Webho finished the same picture in three by four hours. And we need to find out who worked longer and by what fraction. So let's find out. Fraction of an hour. Fraction of an hour. Michael Finney's coloring picture. Coloring picture. How much time he has taken to finish the picture is 3 by 12 hours. And fraction of an hour, Webho, Webho finished 
coloring picture it is also given to us and it, that is 3 by 4 hours now we can compare fraction only when the denominators are same here denominators are not same 7 by 12 and 3 by 4 so we have to take LCM again LCM of 3, 12 and 4 is 12 now make the denominator same here it is 12 only so make it making it same here in 3 by 4 4 is a so 7 by 12 and 9 by 12 now who is taking more time 9 by 12 most time is 9 by 12 Weber so Weber worked longer since 9 by 12 is greater than 7 by 12 therefore Weber work longer and by one fraction and by subtracting 9 by 12 minus 7 by 12 how much fraction 2 by 12 simplifying it 1 by 6 of an hour so this much 1 by 6 he has worked longer here 